Hi, my name is Dave Caldwell. I'm the technical trainer for Conrad's Tire Express and Total Car Care. I've been in the automotive industry as a technician and a technical trainer for over 30 years now. And we've created these videos to give you kind of a better understanding of what happens in the shop when your car is being repaired. Let's make sense of this 94V. I said it's called a service description. The 94 is what we call load capacity. That's a rating set by the tire manufacturer when they build this tire. That's the maximum amount of weight that this tire can carry at a maximum inflation pressure of around 35 PSI. In a 94, the number on that, that tire will carry 1,477 pounds. So if you've got four of these tires mounted, set at 35 PSI, the set of tires will carry 5,908 pounds. Now, that may sound like a lot of weight, but if your car weighs around 3,000 pounds, if you put five average adults inside there, we're talking close to about 1,000 pounds of human beings, and put some stuff in the trunk, um, add some luggage. So we might have another five or 600 pounds inside the trunk. Well, all that added together gives you a total weight on this thing of around 4,600 pounds. The tire is rated above that. That 4,600 pounds is called your gross vehicle weight rating. That's the maximum amount that the car should be carrying based on the engine and transmission and brake system. So they give you a little bit of safety leeway. Always, always make sure that you match the load index. It has to be a 94 or a higher number because everything from 94 down is a lower load index. It carries less weight. It's not rated for your vehicle. You can find that service description on the side of the tire, but sometimes the best place is either your door placard on your driver's door, you might find it. Also, you will find that information inside your owner's manual. So don't forget about your owner's manual. Got a plethora of information inside there on your vehicle. Let's break out that second half. We're talk about a speed rating. Speed ratings will begin down here as low as B, which is 31 miles per hour. So that's your wheelbarrow, okay? To as high as a Y rated tire. And a Y rated tire will do 186 miles per hour. I, and I know, and we hear it all the time. People will say, well, Dave, I don't drive that fast. So why do I have to spend all that money on the Y rated tire? The answer comes down to this. It's not just a speed rating, it's a performance rating. It has to do with the cornering, the stopping, the handling, the maneuverability of your vehicle. It's all built into the tire. So when your manufacturer calls for a V in your owner's manual, again, the same thing applies. Make sure that you put a V onto the vehicle. Don't ever go lower than that speed rating. Now, you can go higher, but you can never go lower. You can go higher on both the load index and the speed rating, but never lower. Thanks for watching the video today. If you have any more questions, visit us at econrads.com or stop into one of our local neighborhood locations. Conrad.